Hello, welcome back everyone. Still with me, Yasar from Cars and Crowns, and also with Jason Broom, the managing director of Porsche Indonesia. Now, for this series, we're gonna discuss one thing that is quite important. It's about the battery of the Taycan. So, Jason, uh, as we know, battery over time will get less and less power. Uh, can you share how Porsche has tackled this issue? Yeah, that's a, a really good question because a lot of people associate batteries with mobile phones or mm -hmm. any other rechargeable device. So Porsche basically have designed a way to keep the battery in the best possible condition while it's being used in the car. So there's a thermal management system that keeps the battery at the optimum temperature when you're driving or when you're charging. Batteries don't like extreme cold and they really don't like extreme hot. So keeping the battery in that operating window as best as possible has allowed us to have an eight year warranty and 160,000 kilometer mileage. So we're very confident that the battery is in the best condition it can be. So is there just one battery in the car or there are multiple batteries installed inside the Taycan? So there's one battery pack, but inside that is 28 or 33 individual units. Those battery packs can be interchanged. Let's say for example, one battery pack has an issue, we can change that out, which also extends the life of the warranty of the battery. The batteries are also square modular rather than round modular, which round modular is not as space efficient, but it's more expensive to manufacture. And yeah, we all know Jakarta has a very hot climate sometimes. Does it affect the charging and the range of the car? That's a really good question. What most people don't understand is heat, some heat is actually good for a battery. So if you use the range calculator on the website, you'll see at 30 to 35 degrees, you actually get better range than if you got at zero degrees or 10 degrees. The thermal management, as I explained before, is trying to keep the battery at the optimum temperature. So in fact, the conditions we have in Indonesia are very well suited to the, the long life and the range of the battery. Uh, good to know that the battery will still hold up even though Jakarta is very uh, hot. And then, uh, what kind of topic we're going to discuss next? I think the next exciting topic has to be about charging. How do you charge the car? Where do you charge the car? And what are the effects of this? Okay, next time we're going to discuss about the charging of the Porsche Taycan, one of the most important part of the car. So uh, stay tuned for the next series.